Okay, welcome everybody. We got a kind of a variation on the Naya value deck that we've played a couple of times on YouTube so far. This is one that I actually played before that, and this was a, um, you know, we're a Boros deck kind of focusing on Militia Bugler. But the first time I played this deck is where I really started to um, appreciate Direfully Daredevil and the Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Only played it one time before, and we got five wins, and that really liked that combination. And this is where I, I from here is where I designed the Naya value deck, is because I really liked that. And I thought, well, what if we take the Bugler, Daredevil, and a Johnny part of this deck and put it with the Explore creatures? And so that's where. That's where uh, the Naya value deck came. But let's go ahead and simplify it again. We're taking green out of the deck. Um, we got a Danta Vanguard and Naya Grace and some other uh, aggressive two drops, Legion War Boss, to help our attacking plan as well. Um, and that's what we got going on. So we'll see how this does. We got the Honor Guards in the sideboard also. Um, for Golgari, of course, you can't play Honor Guard and Naya. But this one, we we can kind of trim on, like, Daredevil, Siege King, Bugler, stuff like that if we want to be able to get uh, Takali Honor Guard in. But let's try it out. Boros. Where you at, Boros Bugler? There we go. There you are. Boros Bugler. All right, and I'm just getting just getting started with uploading Just Guy taking turns. Play first, please. No two drop. This is certainly going to be a keep, but if we get lucky and have our first draw step be a two drop, uh, this hand will be looking very good. So we're getting a two drop. What do we got? So Tiki Tiki wants to make a legacy deck that wins with Omniscience, Vidalcan, Orrery, Gutshot, and Worldfire in that order. Don't you need to cast Worldfire first before Gutshot? I'm not sure what the Orrery does, the Dalkin Orrery. I, I don't know what that card does. But just in general, it doesn't like Worldfire or put them down to one and then you have to Gutshot afterwards. Alright, Beagle Boy. Let's go Knight of Grace against Golgari. Orrery gives everything flash. Okay, you gotta have gut shot on the stack. Oh, right, because do you, do you like discard your hand? How does that. Wait, how does it work? What does Worldfire say? No, it's like destroy all lands, right? Do you discard your hand too? Exile all permits, exile all cards from all hands and graveyards. Each player's life total becomes one. So wait, if you cast World Fire and then in response you put Gutshot on the stack. Oh, because it gives it all flash. So you can go, you can play Gutshot and in response World Fire. I gotcha. Okay. Um I think it's a little risky playing a Johnny here. Just a tad. Where like they have Chupacabra. They kill our Militia Bugler, they get to attack in at a Johnny. You know, Johnny would still go to one loyalty, but that's not exactly what I want. So, we'll put Aurelia out here. That's a pretty... Okay, I don't mind trading here. It's a pretty big uh, Chupacabra target. Looks like our opponent just has fine finality, though. Enter the infinite to draw the entire deck. Dude, yeah, Omniscience... Just allows you to do such crazy things. Hmm. Oh, 
There's two chupacabras. Alright, we're not getting... We're not getting got by any playcrafters anymore. Hey, good job, Don. You hit platinum last night? Way to go. That's not... That's not too easy. So, good job. Yeah, no more playcrafter shenanigans over there. Okay, so we're going to coil Midnight Reaper and slam down this Ajani. And I guess I grow CG and Commander. It is good and to one of see these. You. see in yourself what I see in you. We have not seen any spells, you know, like we're assuming they're playing Fine Finality. Have not seen any other spells from them right now. Um, as far as like if we want to keep Dire Fleet Daredevil in the deck or not. Yeah, I think we're playing against Molder Hulk, it looks like. Yeah. Platinum 1 2 is the struggle indeed. So, what does it go? Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, mythic? Man, that's a lot of levels. I'm assuming those are the levels then. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't really realize there was platinum and diamond. Ahead of gold. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the average rank would be. I'm not sure. Whoo! It's a lot of things. I think we'll take the Aurelia. And I'm. I'm just growing. Bugler, Siege Gang, Commander again. You are capable One more, more turn, those will be above. Um, one more turn, those will be above. Find Finality. I'll be above Finality. This guy taking turns. All right, they're milling. They're milling quite hard. So they they do have one Molder Hulk with two Memorial to Follies in their graveyard. Three Chups. That card could be a problem. I was looking at that card. Yeah, I do have a Spotify playlist. Playlist. Hey, Shaggle Llama. Yeah, good to catch you. It's creatures with power two or less. Yeah, any creature with power two or less. So really a has two power. I can just throw three all, all three goblins at this thing. Actually, let's get Night Grace bigger. Is born of struggle. So that's my plan. I'm glad I didn't attack with the goblin last turn now. Hey, Dan from Brazil. Oh, Rakdos Midrange absolutely is going to be a viable deck next standard. Absolutely. Rakdos seems to be getting the best cards. Or, like, I think it's gotten the, the most good cards so far um, from what we've seen from the spoilers. Um, Simic has, getting, has gotten a lot of stuff today, though. 
But yeah, no. It, Rakdos will certainly be good. Alright, sack of goblin. So I want to do this after combat in case they want to attack with these other things. I would have had blockers. Sack of goblin. And we're hoping to ultimate a Johnny next turn, I think. Wait, cancel. I would have almost just dealt the two damage to the goblin. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, electro dominance. Yeah. That one's. Yeah, you. We, we could already flash Teferi in with Rafka Passion, so there's just another way to do it now. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just minus seven. Are you finished? I How could our opponent kill, but they kill will. Bugler or Knight of Grace? I'm not sure if they can. Why is Siege King Commander word completely wrong? It's worded that you sacrifice first, but you select the damage first before sacrificing when you use it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I guess... I guess you need to... Like, just like with anything, like with the removal spell, you have to, like, target before you actually do the casting part, I guess. So they, they want you to have your target first, and then you... Because without, without a, a valid target, you can't... You cannot just sacrifice... So you can't just like sacrifice and then choose because you have to have a valid target to be able to use the ability. Alright, so we're trading therefore two creatures for two of ours. I don't have to worry about like a playcrafter killing the Knight of Grace still, because a Johnny's ultimate. And take this Izoni out of here. So Knight of Grace, they'd have to block with nine tokens to kill Knight of Grace. I kill six tokens. Is it even worth trading for six tokens? Probably not. So I should have just gave one of these things plus two. So yeah, they, we. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm not gonna let them just keep sacking their their things and gaining life and drawing cards and stuff. I ulted a Johnny the other day and ended up decking a Golgari midrange. <laughs> Yeah, I could see that happening here, honestly. Like with this, they've self-milled so much, they're down to 25 cards in their library. I could see us decking them, honestly. I could see that being the result of this game. Down to one card. Alright, so they have four chupacabras in their deck. I've already seen three chupacabras. We've seen two Midnight Reapers, one Playcrafter.
Yeah, that could certainly be a good deck, the Sultai Explorer. Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. All right, have them mill another three. They're down to 20 cards. Yeah, so Knight of Grace, so talking in the chat here, you know, just saying this for the YouTube video, but yeah, y'all figured it out, but Knight of Grace has Hexproof from black, not Protection from black, so the black creatures can still block Knight of Grace. They just can't, you know, can't be targeted. Um... Do they have, like, Plague Mare randomly? Dude, Plague Mare would be nuts. But no, no Plague Mare. Uh, I need to hold control. I wanted to use Siege Gang and just sack two, sack the two goblins and kill two, the two two power things there. Or two toughness things. I wanted to just kill both those with two goblins. Which I'll still do that. You know, we're just not getting anything in with two of these. Um, so I want to sack, do two damage with this. They may be just getting back their 6-6 their six, six flyer bunch. So I just had, I had two cats that didn't do anything there. So that's okay. Yeah, we knew they were drawing Memorial to Folly. I could see them getting back the 6-6 the six, six Flyer, Demon of Catastrophes. Maybe they just get Molder Hulk. They could chain, they could, I mean, they can certainly chain Molder Hulks. Okay, chaining Molder Hulks. So those are not too scary, they don't have Trample. Not too scary. Oh, binding's perfect. Keep them from chaining Molder Hulks now. All right, now we get to attack with everything that's not the goblins because they can put like they have to put a whole lot of tokens in front of either the knight of graces to be able to kill them and I think that's gonna certainly wrap it up Our opponent made 14 little insects. It takes a while to, to kill with these cats. We only get three cats a turn. It takes a, like It's going to take us five turns to get it, as many cats as they had insects. All right, and they're down to five, which we can... We have four damage this time. Yeah, like this is our fifth turn of cats, and now we finally can get through with in, the insects. Um... We can do four of these goblins, so they're they're effectively at one. Yeah. The cats need to play with the insects for a while. Yeah. Shouldn't cats like just kill insects? Right? Like why are cats and insects the same size? Good game. I like that we have the Ajani emblem and we're Ajani. We have the Ajani emblem. Ooh, yeah, you could have fleas on the cats. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess insects can take down cats too. That makes sense. Well, Takali Honor Guard. Probably gonna be great here. Rekindling Phoenix. Also probably great. 
Danto Vanguard, not so great. Um, we Daredevil out. Aurelia is not really that good. I mean, it's a flyer that kind of. I guess if we have Honor Guard, then to Honor Guard to protect Aurelia. So I know Bugler and Siege Gang don't work well with Honor Guard, but I think I still want to keep them in the deck. It's too good. I could see trimming some number of Aurelia or Siege Gangs for Daredevils. No, let's let's go with this. They basically have Necrotic Wound was the only spell that we saw, but we assume that they have Find Finality in their deck also. We just didn't see any. I'm not sure if we'll need Clarion. I want to keep you know, Bugler count high. Find a currency today. I, I played March on... In a weird sapling deck, made 48 tokens only to have my opponent top deck Golden Demise. Tilt. See, uh, so you played it like sorcery speed then? Ugh. Hmm. Thinking Mulligan. Okay. There we go. Turn two honor guard. Turn two honor guard. Yep, there's my YouTube page. If you'd like to follow me over on YouTube, um, before streaming today, I had 287 followers on YouTube, and I need a thousand. So it says to get YouTube partnered, I need a thousand followers there, and 4,000 total hours watched. And I was at 287 followers and 377 hours watched. <laughs> but only uh, only been up for five days, so yeah. So feel free to follow the YouTube channel is YouTube.com/slash C for creator slash Todd Stevens MTG or channel I guess it could be slash C for channel and then slash Todd Stevens MTG. So cool. So yeah. So thanks for thanks for the follows there, y'all. Thanks, Prappa. And then once, once we get to the thousand follower mark and four thousand hours watched, then I get to apply for getting partnered and getting turning that monetized. Um, I just attack with Knight of Grace. I could coil and then be able to play Honor Guard also, and I don't really want to play Bugler. You know, Bugler won't trigger. I, you know, like, I'm feeling good with Honor Guard out here, and so I'm going to kind of make them answer Honor Guard, and then whenever they do, then I'll have Bugle Boy. I was playing your Nia Value deck, and I beat an annoying Jeskai Control deck using Direfully Daredevil on Explosion for 10. Heck yeah, that's a feels good. Way to go. Yeah, we played Nia Value yesterday. Yep. Yep, that video's up on YouTube right now. Thanks, Top Deck King. And Isopon also just subbed to the YouTube channel. Thanks y'all for subbing to the YouTube channel there. Let me help out Otter here. Oh, whoops. Hit that button. New spoiler. It's meh question mark. Verity Circle. To you enchantment when a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped if it isn't being declared as an attacker you may draw a card and then five mana to tap a creature without flying mm. not spectacular but it's not bad it's great against land war elf just get to draw a bunch of cards But no, it's not spectacular. I wouldn't expect that to see very much play. But yeah, 
good limited card. Yeah, great limited card. The the five mana tap like tappers are just great and limited. Great limited card. Yeah, convoke. Oh yeah, it's real good against convoke. That's true. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do a thoughts on the the spoiler cards video for YouTube. Um, whenever we have all of them up, I'm gonna do a set review. And I feel like whenever we whenever we know all the spoilers, I'll be doing a set review. I am proud to fight by your side. Mm. Look how far you've come. And uh, we'll be going through all the colors. Yeah, Honor Guard, definite MVP. And I don't need to put the counter on Knight of Grace because Knight of Grace will get the counter from Mentor. I considered attacking with Takatli Honor Guard with getting the counter on it, but it would only turn into a 3-5 and they could double block. I guess if they would double block it, they would die though. So yeah, I should have attacked with it. Yeah, I should have attacked. I did not consider the... I didn't take the time to consider that if they double block, they die. But pretty sure they're going to die anyway. Yeah, you can play that card into sleep. And yeah, tap all their creatures and draw one for each tapped creature. You can do that. That's a combo. Yeah. Hunter Guard really shuts down our opponent's deck even more so than normal Golgari. And then you play Cleansing Nova. It's your blue white control. So you you tap all their creatures so you can draw a card for each one, and then you get to then they're all tapped, so then you cleansing nova them away. I actually think Rakdos is getting more love than Esper currently. Rakdos is looking kinda strong. We haven't so what have we seen? Ten mythics? We didn't see a mythic today, did we? There wasn't a single mythic today. No, the rest of the mythics they're saving for next week. So we've seen ten mythics. Um and so we've seen both both of the uh Orzov mythics, both of the the blue white mythics, the um Azorius mythics. And then we've seen one Rakdos, Rakdos the showstopper. We've seen one Gruel, Ravager Worm, so we have not seen the new Domri. We've seen both of the Simic ones. So what we have left is we have the Gruel Domri. We have another Rakdos Mythic. But then we've seen the, the singular... We've seen the black and the red. So there's also a white, a blue, and a green Mythic. So there's some, some white Mythic, some blue Mythic, some green Mythic. And then a Rakdos and a Gruel. So we got left. Yep, we got that last one. Oh, yeah. I can change our record. We are 1-0. Oh. Scotley Honor Guard. Getting it done. I think Rakdos Showstopper is the only Rakdos Mythic we've seen. No, I don't think we've seen another Rakdos Mythic, have we? Unless it just came out, like, now or something. The demon with spectacle is just is black. It's not Rakdos. It's just black. So, you know, like they're gonna have like if they follow the the same like the normal pattern or the presumed pattern. If they follow the presumed pattern. We'll have. Yeah, you can put it. Yeah, go ahead, Tiki Jiggy. You can put a. Yeah, you can put a link there. Um. You'll have two of each of the guilds for mythics, and then one of each color. One white, blue, black, green, and red. And so we've seen the black and the red mythic. So yeah, we have one Rakdos missing, and Domri Raid missing, and a white, and a green, and a blue. Do I want to go another war boss or a Johnny? I think I want to do a Johnny.
No friend of mine fights alone. Deliver us to victory. I mean that's just that's just all of the cards. That's the name of the card, a Johnny. A J A N I, a Johnny. We have Rakdos and a Mythic Demon for the Red Black Guild. The Mythic Demon is just a black card. It's not a Rakdos Mythic. You know, like it's it's for like the it's, you know, kind of designed for Rakdos decks, but I'm talking about just strictly colors. It's not red black, it's black. Yeah, Spawn of Mayhem is a black card. And what I'm saying is is that there's there's one mythic of every color, and then there's two of each double color. Alright, so they got March of the Multitudes also. Oh, Con Conclave Tribunal. It's really hoping to draw a red source there. War boss plus lava coil would certainly do it. I mean, I think just lava coil anyway, right? I, I coil this lifelink thing. Yeah, and then we have lethal. All that stuff's tapped. And there we go. Yeah, the color for the color pie each guild has two mythics. Um, but then there's a single color that that's probably the single color each one goes with a guild. So like so I guess it's like three total, they get a single color and two dual colors. Um tokens, 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 Clarion for tokens, Danto Vanguard out. Uh Daredevil not gonna do a whole lot for us either. Um, I guess I'm playing some honor guards. No, I don't want honor guard here. I guess I'm playing a Danto Vanguard. I don't think Daredevil really does very much for us. Shivan Fire is nice. We talked into it. I don't... I mean, I, I'm willing to play, like, one Daredevil. I don't love Daredevil here, though. Bugler's kind of weak, too, because then we just took out a lot of twos. Bugler doesn't have very many hits left. Or boss... This is not a good matchup for us. Maybe I do need to just keep Vanguards in. Yeah, we don't really need... Yeah, we don't need all these Lava Coils. Let's keep Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, there's new mana leak. So like, yeah, Phoenix is bad against Conclave Tribunal. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this. Let's go. It's about to tell us that we have enough time. But yeah, Daredevil first strike. It's kind of nice. Bugler has Vigilance. Mana Pierce. Ooh, actually, that's a good name. Mana Pierce would have been a good name. I like that name, actually, for that card. Mana Pierce, I like that. Uh, it's, it's a card called Quench. It was from earlier today. Because I saw that before I started streaming. It's just... It's mana it's mana leak except for counter unless you pay two instead of pay three. Mana weak. 
Have you played Boros Angels with Teferis? I, a while ago, I haven't, I haven't in a while. I've played it like twice with like two Teferis and Boros Angels. The first time I played it, um, I remember I went 5-0 and then the second time I played it, it didn't do very well. But that was, that was a while ago. They're keeping Vanguard themselves. Vanguard does a good job of checking Vanguard. Um, Quench may be a functional reprint, I'm not sure. Wish I had more disenchants in my sideboard for this matchup. That Conclave Tribunal to destroy all enchantments. Yeah. See if they're willing to pay the life. Okay. Ugh. I should have fired that. Binding that? Binding a Danto Vanguard? Play a Johnny tick up on Knight of Grace? I'd like to save binding for Tristani. Do not fear, my friend. Be strong. Uh, you could, sw yeah, swapping Knight of Grace out for a different creature when not facing black decks is an option. That would require you having that other creature in your sideboard, and that's a valuable sideboard slot that I don't don't have. Um. It's still just a, a decently sized first striker um, and works well with a Johnny. So, do not have it. I'm not taking it out. All right, people boy. Getting Knight of Grace because we can cast it here. I'm kind of worried about Good two four toughness creatures. I'm worried about uh, marching I multitudes will bend here. You my strength. Okay, no march. No Tristani. Now should I binding history? What am I binding? -ing? Casting binding. I guess I'm just taking history. Yeah, I can just take history. Deliver us to victory. Yeah, I always wear a, a tie on stream. I like how I look in a dress shirt and a tie. Well, they're shocking in there than they have March of the Multitudes. We CG and Commander together. is just an amazing draw step for us. Yeah. Thanks, Ghost. Yeah, I just... That's how I like to present myself. Yeah, they gave us a Johnny's Ultimate. Kind of crazy. Okay, so let's have. I mean, we'll first striker block a life linker. This block this. This block this. Take those out. 
Block lifelink, 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 lifelink. Life What's the Knight of Grace doing? I'm supposed to block that thing. Okay. So we're taking eight, gaining three here. Our opponent's just giving up. They didn't even pay four life for a Danto Vanguard or anything. They're just giving up. Lead up. We stand together. Lead up. See in yourself what I see in you. There we go. 2-0. and oh. I think that's probably a tough matchup for us, but we got there. We had a couple good draws. Siege King Commander came right in time. But yeah, our opponent should not have let a Johnny ultimate. They did not need to do that. That's where we won that game. Our opponent letting us a Johnny ult. Can you have multiple a Johnny emblems? You sure can. Yep, you can make six six cats a turn if you have two emblems out. Yeah. I guess it was unwinnable. We don't know if they had like if they have like Lyra Dawnbringer in their deck. It would kind of been a good card for them to draw, but us just getting three lifelink cats every single turn, it was gonna be really hard for our opponent to win that. I don't think I don't think they could. Cenovoid, thanks for the bits. I'm gonna go sleep. Good luck the rest of the stream. Thanks, Cenovoid. Have a good night. It's not a very good matchup for Adanto Vanguard here. In the face of Gobo Chain Woola. Cyanide Bacon, also with the bits. I want to hear too. Want to hear. Wanted to hear what? Bleh. I mean, Daredevil's great in this matchup, but I just have to waste it here. Oh, I want a tier two. <laughs> there we go. I want a tier two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my opponent does not know about first strike. I think they'll be sad. I think our opponent's sad. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of lands there. A bunch of lands that I, I want. Oh, come on, give me that land. Let me binding this thing. Pixelon's binding. Ooh. Winner, winner. Eating owls for dinner. Uh, Bugler has been stricken from the record. Oh, Aurelia. We can attack. Let's let's do it. Let's attack. Uh, our opponent did not block. They thought about it. Yeah, so I didn't. So I wasn't attacking with Daredevil because I wanted to have my two creatures block because Bugler is really easy to kill, as we saw there. And I didn't want to trade two damage for them from one damage for us. Now I'm I'm with having a really and our clock being really sped up. I'm I'm fine with attacking. And them having less cards, you know, we're farther in the game, so my mind has changed, but um, at that point, that's what was going on. Uh, 
And there we go. Hey, Sangriel just hit diamond. Way to go. Nice, good job. Alright, we're playing against red. Vanguard out. Phoenix and Clarion in. Warboss out. But then, with Warboss out, it's going to make Bugler kind of worse. Should maybe just take Buglers out. No, I'll just keep Buglers in. Bugler has um, 10, 15 hits. So we're not necessarily great to hit. Maybe I'll just take Bugler's out and put these Shivan Fires in, actually. This Bugler won't hit very often. Let's see you there. Take out Johnny. All right, let's try it. Yeah, Takali isn't terrible, but Takali stops stopping my Dire Fleet, and I guess I just took out Bugler. But I, I think stopping my stuff is a little worse. And the thing about Dire... Or, yeah, so... Like, I think Daredevil is more important than Chain Whirler or the Ashino Pyromancer on their side. Daredevil is really good in this matchup. And so is this card, Siege Gang Commander. I don't know, Siege Gang is actually pretty bad against Chain Ruler. Maybe I should just cut Siege Gang. Put the Buglers back in? The thing is, is we're just taking so many Buglers hits out of the deck. It just makes Bugler so much worse. I just got Niv in the sealed event. Dude, heck yeah. Way to go, Parappa. Crush it. Our opponent has played Basic Mountain. Not really played many other lands. Us, on the other hand, have drawn lots of lands. Rekindling Phoenix, looking strong. Hmm. Banefire. It's not a very good card for one land. So they, so they didn't have shock? Like, there's no shocks either. So they kept one mana Firebrand with no shock? Uh, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta live your life. Just not shuffle more. Shuffling's, you know, an, an annoying thing to do. Sometimes you just gotta believe. Okay, here we go. Now they're going. They doubled their mana. They doubled their mana in that turn. Let's see, what do they got? Lava Coil? Okay, here we go. We got a game. We got a game. The game didn't last super long, but we had a game there. A game that ended with us winning 3-0. And... Where's YouTube? Alright. Publishing the job. Let's get <laughs> Wow, that game lasted a whole 30 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't last long. Um, how do I... Info... Mute that. Okay. It's not the best hand for the draw. But I'm in there. Yeah. This, that's true. Good point. Somebody said these simple decks turn into some of the most efficient. And that's... That's a good point. That's what, kind of what our deck is. It's very efficient. We cast our spells. See if our opponent can beat him. They got rid of shock, huh? I guess they needed land. They did not hit a land drop. This is...
Likely have another shotgun hand. Yep. Oh, oh, really? You've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. Charter Course is a great card for us to Daredevil. Get to attack next turn, draw two. Oh, wrong card. That could have got an exalted, or like, yeah, the whatever, mentor trigger. Whatever. Whatever, we're gonna win this easily. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna win this easily. I don't think we really need Ixalan's Binding the map. You they get some more mana for like a turn. Let's have coil and binding. They weren't winning that. Okay, let's see. Sideboard Phoenix is good, but dies to lava coil, but still good. Knight of Grace is probably our worst card, is a card that dies to shock and it doesn't really generate anything. Kind of same with War Boss, but War Boss can get us a 1 1. Um. Knight of Grace also enter, or like, we can return it with a Johnny if need be. I think I like, I think I like Phoenix more than Siege Gang. I don't think I really like Siege Gang for this matchup. So we'll have Phoenix and Trim. It's either a War Boss or a Knight of Grace. Kind of which, whichever way we want to go there. Um, no, I don't want Shiv and Fire for Crackling. We already have four Binding, four Lava Coil. I think that's that's all I really want there. I want I want to keep these creatures. You know, I want to keep all these two drops for Bugler and stuff. Uh, Grace does have first strike, which is nice. That's true. I'm gonna keep the Grace in because Daredevil's not really a two drop. Del Daredevil's like a, th you know, a lot more expensive. So I want to keep the two drops in. <clears throat> you know, we're not we're not necessarily playing Dire Fleet on turn two. So yeah, we we'll, took out a War Boss. This hand can certainly lose, but we're going to try it out. We got we got a curve, but we can get blinked by Drake's efficiently. And we're bad against Shock. So I'd like to draw a Johnny, Adversary of Tyrants. I mean, we got, we got Deafening Clarions. Against tokens, I don't know. We we beat tokens two rounds ago, but chain roller is probably. I think it's just too hard to cast. Like I'd rather have Deafening Clarion. There. All right, war boss time. They're probably gonna fire cannonade us. Playing war boss here because we get to make sure we get a token down and we use our mana better than playing Vanguard. Hey, DJ Polly B. Welcome. You know, if you hold a land, any card with the mouse pointer, you can draw quicker. Yeah. Yeah, if you hold something, it'll... Yeah, you draw quicker like that. That is true. More creatures. I'm doing good. How's everybody else doing on this Friday night? Oh, come on. No land drop, please. Let's just binding this. No dive down. Ooh, no dive down. The Drake is gone. Opponent's down to six. Raptor Hatchling. Not a bad one. Alright, so we don't have lethal. Unless... Nope. Unless we would have drawn a, a Lava Coiler Binding for that thing. Ugh! 
Here's all of our cards. We just put a Johnny, a Lava Coil, and a Phoenix down to the bottom. There. Now we put a couple lands down the bottom. That's what I wanted to see. So imagine they're blocking a Danto. Yeah. And they'll get their 3-3. Three, three. That's a good play. Oh yeah, Lava Coil would give them a 3-3. It's not die, it's deal damage. So we, we wouldn't need a binding. But yeah, they'd, they had to dive down. That was good. Alright, so they got three blockers. Tres blockers. Ugh. We draw a land because we put all the sweet spells down at the bottom. Stupid Bugler. Mm, block. Block, block. We deal three. Well, if they don't have an... So they have to have a shock to stay alive. I mean, let's try. They have to have a shock. Or a lightning strike. Ah, uh, they have shock or lightning strike. Well then, they're down to one. We lose two creatures. They they have three dinos. We're not looking. We're not in a great spot here. Not in a great spot. attack. They are not attacking. We're down to eight. I need something to finish this out. Help us out, deck. Hopefully our opponent has three crackling drakes in hand. Two crackling drakes in that island. He's got two drakes. Oh no, come on. What is that thing? Daredevil? Ugh. Where's a Daredevil when you need it? Actually, Daredevil would have been GG, because we could Daredevil this shock and shock them. Hey, Ken. How would you say your matchup is against... No attacks? Our opponent just not attack there. They have disdainful stroke in their deck against me. I, mean, I guess. Matchup is against Golgari and Mono Red percentage wise with Naya value. I think incredibly good against Mono Red. Golgari is 50-50-ish. We have anything that says draw a card, we lose. Or just any spell. Is that draws a card? Hmm. Don't think I'd change anything. No, the song two songs ago was called. We definitely do not need Banefire for each. I think that was just a, a game of us really flooding out. If we just had, you know, if we just had other spells to play, you know, like if Banefire, or like if we just had like a, another good spell to play, we would have been fine. 
Um, yeah, the mini dinos. Raptor Hatchling just annihilated us. Direfleet Daredevil is our reach. Like that. We didn't have a Daredevil. And we buglered three times looking for one. Daredevil would have won. Alright. A Johnny is also our reach. The Johnny tick up plan is, is amazing. So keeping this hand because this time we have a Johnny's. That was the card that we were really missing last time. Let's draw some lands though, deck. Draw some lands. Um, yeah, I mean, it's somewhere around the 50% against Golgari, both green after board. I think it's it's a reasonable number. I... I need to draw some lands. Okay. So we got rid of one, or so there's only one land in those four. So hopefully we draw a land here. It's gonna be tough for us to beat Enigma Drake, kind of anyway. Though, like, we'd also like to draw Lava Coil, Ixalan's Binding. Yeah, we got four of each of those. Honestly, I'll be surprised if we win this game from here. Missing that land drop on turn three. Be surprised if we win this. Our, our opponent's hand looks very good. With, you know, them having the turn three Enigma Drake that's already big. So, you know, we'll see. I'll be surprised if we win, though. We haven't seen a Fiery Cannonade yet. Doesn't mean they don't have it. We haven't seen one yet, though. So I play a Johnny, tick up. They attack and kill a Johnny. I play a Johnny again, tick up. They attack and kill a Johnny again. It's not really a, a sequence I love. I don't think it's... I mean, binding for Enigma Drake. I don't know, it's like. I just don't think it's too necessary. Murmuring Mystic. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. It really looks like they have dive down. Which is why I don't want to play Binding, because it dive down. So I just don't think Binding will work. It's possible Binding works after a Niv-Mizzet or something like that? Don't think binding's gonna work. Our kinship ensures our victory.
I will lend you my strength. I should put on Knight of Grace. Not Bugler. I was watching an MTGO stream, and even though it is a horrible UI, it made me realize how big the card, the Arena Cards Triggers UI is. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to read, and having uh, access to Deck Master is really nice. Very well. Just as a thought. Didn't think it would work. I have down such a good card. These Drake decks. I had a really good start, and I missed my third land drop. They had a very good start. Alright, three and one. Let's try to come back when these next two. Still nothing wrong with three and one. Boris Bueller has been performing pretty good so far. I just don't think I... I think I should have mulliganed my hand of just two lands on the play. I don't think I should have kept that two lander. I think that's the big decision that I could should have done differently there. Yeah, three one's good. Yeah. This is a good hand. <clears throat> this is a good one. Ugh. Keep. Overground Tomb. Well, we do have the uh, Honor Guards in the board. Certainly a hand like this, you know, being on the player on the draw is a huge deal. You know, Vanguard on the draw. A little slower. I like that it's not Wild Growth Walker. Wild Growth Walker would be very difficult to beat. Hmm. Well, now I want to coil. I'm gonna coil that land war elf. Yeah, let's coil the land war elf. I think it's worth it to Stone Rain. They're on four cards plus a Thrashing Bronson on. Now, if they would have had Wild Growth, they would have played it before. We knew they weren't drawing Wild Growth. Looks like it's working. Looks like the plan's working out. No cast down. Yeah, this is 0 7. Okay, they did have the cast down. But we got the trigger. Thanks, Arena, giving us that trigger. That would never work on paper. Ah, uh, they got the land. Yeah, coiling Llanowar Elf has been really good for us. Dorio, hey. The new Gruel enchantment, yeah. Man, it it's good. There's a lot of good enchantments in the set. Lots of good enchantments. Lots of fun cards to build around, you know. 
And that's that's certainly what I like in, in Magic sets. You know, I, I like playing lots of different decks and everything, and there's just so much to explore with Ravnica Allegiance. It's looking uh, like a really sweet set. So we're going to go to eight. No blocks here. Um... Because I want to play a Johnny and tick up and make these things better at blocking. Can you explain why the war boss trigger wouldn't happen in paper and it does in arena? Well, in when you're playing in, in paper, you know, you're communicating Together, with your opponent and they can say, hey, before you go to combat, and that would trigger, I'd like to cast this cast down. You can still do that on Arena. You have to set a stop on, like, you have to click your opponent's first main phase real quick. You know, like, basically, with the war boss on the stack, you have to click their main phase and get a stop. Our opponent just didn't do that. And so, since they didn't do that, um, then it, it went to combat automatically. Wow, another cast down? I was not expecting another cast down. So our opponent can play around that. It doesn't like automatically always happen in arena. You just have to you have to get a stop in the main phase before it goes to combat. Our opponent's looking at the Ajani like they may have a Vrasa's Contempt. We're of course blocking Branch Walker, not Jade Light, because Jade Light's a better card to get back if they have Find Finality. That's a good draw. First striker. Infinite buglers. Strength is born of struggle. So they have a removal spell for bugler. We're dead. Yeah. So I guess if they do have contempt here. We're dead. So hopefully they don't. Well, dang. Guess I need to trade with my my two three. Need to trade with a three two. My bugler need to trade with four. I'll at least get their Brontodon out of here. Which do you think will be better in the end, Tadana Stompy or Savage Rhythm Stompy? Dude, cold. It's 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 way too early to tell. We don't we don't know like the cards from the set yet, and we know some. It's way too early to tell. All right, Honor Guard, come do your thing. Dante Vanguard, get out of here. And then Phoenix over Siege Gang. I mean, likely, likely you'll be able to play multiple colors, like you know, like maybe even like three colors. Like even with, even with Steel Leaf Champion, I think you'll be able to play Steel Leaf Champion in the three color deck. Hmm. Let's see. Shivan five. So Phoenix would be the other card. So do I want Phoenix? So I probably want Phoenix. Phoenix is probably a little bit better than Aurelia, but Aurelia gets hit by Bugler. They had a lot of cast downs. That was annoying. No, let me just take out two war bosses. Or two phoenixes. Oh yeah, binding is, is really not the best. 
Yeah, I could I could take out some bindings. I just missed binding. I, I could I could do that. Binding's just so bad against Vivian. Um, why am I keeping this two lander? Again, I'm on the play. This is not a good hand. This is not even a good hand. Guess I'm playing this card. I should have mulliganed this. I was just, you know, I was thinking about the bindings, like how, how I didn't have those in, and then just saw two lands, saw some spells, kept it. This is not even a good hand. This is just a waste. Just threw this game away. Um, and then you know my deck didn't help me out by not not drawing a land. Those two draws. I need the deck to help to help me out. They did not help me out. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really eat KFC or Popeyes. Um. I guess I like KFC more. I definitely had KFC a, a decent amount of times. I don't think I've ever ate at Popeyes. At least have not ate at Popeyes in the last 15 years. Alright, war boss. Make some one ones. All these branch walkers drawing them, all those lands, they're all two ones. So bad news like yeah, good news they only have just a bunch of two ones on the battlefield. Bad news is they still have you know, they had eight cards going into that card, so they still have seven cards. I just got back from eating at the 99 restaurant. Got some scallops on the special. It was pretty good. That does sound pretty good. I, I never... I don't know exactly what the 99 restaurant is. Every fight makes me stronger. Is there a reason we haven't been attacking you with the first strike, Dire nature. Fleet? Because them attack... Like... I'm not going to be able to win this game quickly with... Look at the... Like, the cards in my hand, I'm not winning the game quickly. My opponent would have a lot better chance of winning the game quickly. Than I would. So, like earlier, I didn't want to trade two damage for two damage, and then two damage for four damage. Just weren't. Was that? It was not a profitable trade. I mean, yeah, they cast Finality here. You know, they take two of our cards for four of their cards. That's not a bad trade for us. Not a bad trade. Um... So I want to be able to buy back Dire Fleet, Dire Fleet to get back find finality, but I guess we're gonna need some more creatures in the graveyard. So let's go ahead and throw out this Aurelia, and of course we'll need more mana for that if we if we mine us immediately. They're they're at six cards in hand. Oh, so Carnage Tyrant's gonna be tough to beat. Carnage Tyrant's going to be tough to beat. Well, they would like to play Siege Gang Commander there. 
I mean, yeah, I would have loved to play Aurelia. If it wasn't for the whole legendary thing. Playing a second Aurelia there would have been really nice. Yeah, they could have attacked before their finality and dealt four points of damage. Because I wasn't going to block with my war boss, so that, that would have been a good attack for them. So if I play a Johnny boost on Aurelia, I think it's likely our opponent has like a Chupacabra. Chupacabra kills Aurelia, Carnage Tyrant kills a Johnny, and I have nothing. I think it's better to get another creature in play before I have a Johnny boost the creatures. Because if, if Chupacabra kills Aurelia, I'm going to want another creature on the battlefield to kind of be able to attack back. Yeah, we have Phoenix in, in the deck somewhere. Yeah, Phoenix is in the deck. Alright, so our opponent can buy use Memorial of Folly to buy back another Branch Walker, play Wild Growth, and double explore. I understand you are in need of support. You are capable of more than you assume. I don't have another Knight of Grace in the graveyard. Right? Like, did I just miss another Knight of Grace? Yeah. I can't minus two and put another Knight, knight of Grace. Right now, I have a Daredevil, which Daredevil also has first strike. So Daredevil, like in the graveyard, Daredevil also has first strike. I mean, if our if our opponent attacks a Johnny, a Johnny's dead. If our opponent does not attack a Johnny, then I'm gonna then I can minus and Daredevil, and I can have two first strikers that can block a Carnage Tyrant. Thoughts on Electro Dominance? Um, I don't think it's as like there are some people that are really overreacting to it in my opinion that think it's just super completely busted and I'm not I'm not there I think it's going to be you know it's going to be fine and I think it'll see play in standard and stuff but I don't think it's going to warp the format or anything like that I think it's you know it's still expensive for what you get with it um you know we had I think it's kind of similar to um, Baral's expertise that we've seen, that we saw in the past. I think it's kind of similar there. Alright, well I certainly need to kill Wild Growth Walker. So I have to Lava Coil the Wild Growth Walker, which means... Yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm glad our opponent didn't get that other branch walker before, which means when I minus a Johnny and find finality, I, I can't actually cast find finality. Um, oh, wait, I mean, I, I can. Wait, I still can. But I'm only getting war boss back. Right. Um, yeah. We still do that. Right? Yeah. But I'm I'm casting D Lord. Back on your feet. Like this can draw war boss, but I'd rather cast Bugler and have Bugler on the battlefield. Fine. 
Oh yeah, I guess if, yeah. Some people are losing their minds over electro dominance for for uh, other formats, and I don't I don't just don't really care about the other formats that much, besides standard. The other formats are all completely broken anyway. Yeah, but it's also just a, a six mana removal spell that, you know, they just dive down it. You just spend so much mana to get dive downed. Right, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't cast the thing if it, if it gets countered. Is that true? I don't even know if that's true or not. I do not think Electro Dominance will get banned. Maybe in, in a different format, not in standard. Yeah, if it gets dived down, it'll just get countered, and you wouldn't cast anything. It only has one target. Um, that should be it. Our opponent's going to need... Uh, Look how far you have come. Our opponent needs Vrasa's Contempt here. No Vrasa's Contempt. Alright. Oh no, it can also go yeah, you can you can cast it at at the face. I'm just saying if if that would happen if you try to kill like a crackling drake or something like that. A dive down would stop it. Hey, okay. All right, Golgari. Anything you want to change? Uh, sweet. Nope, let's go. Shiv and Fire actually may not be that bad here, just to kill Llanowar off. Finally back to gold three, good job. Yeah, the Hydra Jellyfish is silly. I do think the Mystic Snake's very good. I mean, blue, like, blue-green, and then, like, so likely Bant for Teferi Flash stuff is going to be good. But maybe even just Teamer. Teamer gives you Explosion and that um, Electro Dominance. Explosion plus, and Electro Dominance, those cards with the four-mana green enchantment that untaps all your lands each on step are just, those are silly. How many times are you going to get to say, and I play my Hydra Jellyfish? <laughs> That's true. It only happens in magic. You don't get to say that in regular life too much. Um, I need them to make a teamer lemur. <laughs> uh, this is going to have to be a mulligan. Man, I love a Johnny. A Johnny's great. There we go. This is a lot better. I forgot we had that card. It's got the honor guard. Yeah, there's the Lizard Wizard and Jellyfish Hydra Beast. They've gone just... They're just going kind of crazy with these Simic creature types, huh? You just... Lizard Wizards and Jellyfish Hydra Beasts. Slayers don't use that language. Honor Guard time. Yeah, there's an Elf Crab Warrior. Yeah, it's like, if you're... If you're Simic, you just have to have three creature types. I guess maybe it shows that you're growing. Something like that. Evolving. Duress. Man. I like my Johnny. Oh, I want to Daredevil Duress you. But we have Honor Guard in play. I'd like to be able to take the, like their you know, take their Vrass with Contempt. But Honor Guard shuts that down. 
I would love to dress him back. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye is the one true streamer of the channel. Okay. Yep, shuts down Bugler also. Yeah. Rickard I says they should have gone crazy with the Simic mechanics rather than types. It's just one one counter stuff. Yeah. I it's a little disappointing the one one the one one counter stuff, but it, it makes sense. You know, Simic adapting. Like that's it certainly makes sense. All right, an opponent missed a land drop. So that's good for us for them not having Contempt. So they're just chilling with this Jade Light Ranger they can't do anything with. Or, I mean, they can play it, but it'd just be a 2-1. And, of course, I'm going to wait on my Daredevil and, and uh, Bugler. I'm going to wait for them to deal with Honor Guard, of course. I'm not going to just throw these out as a 2-1 and a 2-3, respectively. What do you think about Dovin? Dovin is not that powerful, which I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad they didn't just give Azorius another really good Planeswalker. I didn't really like that Azorius was getting a Planeswalker in this set uh, when they already have Teferi. I didn't think they needed one. Um, but it's it's not that bad. I think Dovin's better than Kaya. And so I'm, I'm sad about that. I wish Kaya was better. But just three mana, make a... You know, you get to make a spirit and gain a life. And then try the next turn to make a spirit, gain a life. It's not like, you know, it's not that good. But it's, it's not bad. It's not like, I think it's gonna see like more play than like Jace cutting Castaway, for example. But of course, to be fair, I also kind of thought that Jace cutting Castaway wasn't that bad, and it would see some play somewhere. So they use the mana on status to kill the Knight of Grace. So that means they don't have Statue for Honor Guard. Because Statue is a remo removal spell for Honor Guard for 4 mana. Yep, Hawkeye Stream. Yeah, Dovin could see play in a blue-white tempo deck. The thing is, is so could Jace Cunning Castaway. I mean, it's... It could see play there also. It seems like a pretty good sideboard against aggro, does it? I mean, you, you're making tokens that Chain Whirler kills. You should be proud to have come so far. Um, do I want to just get Night of Grace back? I kind of do. Return to the fight. Yeah, Rick Dad does say, if you're playing Azor without the fairy, what are you even doing? That's reasonable. I think the new, doesn't the new Tesa, is that the card that doubles the die triggers? If it, I think that's the new Tesa. Yeah, if a creature dying causes an, a triggered ability to of a permanent you control to trigger... You trigger it multiple times. Strength is born of struggle. That is lethal attacking the opponent. So I am assuming they want their branch walker to die. Yep. And not their land of war elf. I could see them. Well, finality, Phoenix kills them. Pestilent Phantasm. I mean, the, the Pestilent Spirit is really good. I think Pestilent Spirit's a pretty strong card. The 3-2 menace, menace Death Touch. I mean, with it being Menace and Death Touch, it's, that's basically just unblockable. So it's just like 3-2 unblockable, because you're, you're never going to want to put two creatures in and have them both die to Death Touch. What? Why are you all... Moving? Yeah, you can get your butt off the camera. Okay. Opponent could not handle Takali Honor Guard. That's the second time I played against Golgari. Both game threes. Uh, we won, or both of our deciding wins, I guess. The other one was game two. 
One with Kali on guard there. Yeah, we're getting a Domri in the set. So we are four and one. So, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. We're getting... Domri is going to be green-red. So that's the other green-red mythic we don't know about. There's one black-red mythic we don't know about. And then there's a... A, uh, a blue, a green, and a white mythics we don't know about. So there's there's five more mythics we don't know. One one will be white, one will be green, one will be blue, and then there's a Rakdos and a Gruul mythic. Here, you can chew on a pen, not on my arm. Keep this one. Can you recommend one of your decks as a first one for a new player to farm towards to play best of three to farm gold and new cards? Um, I think Selesnia Angels is, is a pretty good deck for a newer player. Ah, I think it's a good good deck, and I don't think it's too difficult to play. It has a lot of rares and mythics, though. That's kind of a problem with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'm streaming tomorrow, Rev Daddy. Okay, so we're playing against Jess, or I mean, is it? <laughs> We're playing against Is it, which was our, our one loss. Um, we got a nice start with the Danto Vanguard here on the second turn, though. I have not played Blue White Mill, no. Yeah, Tessa triggers after life twice. That's that's like the point of Tessa being a card. Um, This is where Johnny really helps. So Johnny makes a Danto Vanguard able to attack into Drake's. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, to die means sent to the graveyard, basically. That means to die. Go into the graveyard. That that uh that language saying that something dies is actually kind of new. The cards, all the cards used to say, if this card would be sent to a graveyard or or something like that. There's something like that. It was it was kind of weird. But anyway, Wonder Melodies hosting a huge host here. Everybody, let's welcome our new viewers in from Wonder Melodies. Thank you so much for that big host. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Um, for the people just joining us, we're on Boros Bugler right now. We're currently 4-1. We're in game one against Is It Drakes. And uh, we get this Aurelia to pump up the Adanto Vanguard. That's nice. And uh, by new, you mean Innistrad, which was seven-ish years ago. Yeah, that's new. I mean, that's since I've been playing Magic, and I've been playing Magic the... A, a ton. So Wonder Melodies, uh, I haven't, I haven't heard, um, I haven't heard of your stream. So when, when do you usually stream? And do you, do you stream Magic and everything? And what, what time, what day do you usually stream? I need to check out your stream. <laughs> Drakes are your favorite. <laughs> well, our one loss was to Drakes. How we're four and one. We did lose to Drakes earlier, so. Leave the battlefield triggers only if they're die. Only if it's things that die. It won't be just like if it leaves to like a bounce spell or getting exiled. Those will not uh, trigger twice. All right, so let's go ahead and Daredevil Lava Coil. Coil this Enigma Drake. Usually around 1 p.m. 
streaming every day. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm on I'm on from three to ten every day. Dang. So, do you ever do late? Do you ever stream later, like after ten? Because I'd like to be able to to pay you back and get you be able to host. So yeah, so y'all should check out Wonder Melody's stream before, and I'll I'll definitely check them out too. Um, let's see. So we against Drakes, we want Phoenix. We do not want Siege Gang Commander. And maybe trim a war boss. I think that's what we did last time was we trimmed a war boss as well. Yeah. How it dies to shock and it's three mana. Yeah. Sometimes late times on days when I'm busy doing IRL during the morning. Okay, cool. Well, I am... How do I... You go already... There we go. Heading over to your page. Following your stream, and then if you're on... Anytime I stop stream streaming. And then I'll be able to send a host that way. Hey, good job, Zelay. You're finally diamond. Way to go. Man, why am I just keeping these hands full of four drops and two mana? Ugh. Yeah, evoke creature leaving would trigger twice. Yes. Yes. So, Revelark would, would trigger twice or so on. All right, we got we got a coil for this Enig Enigma Drake. Just firing this thing off right now before they can have like dive down up or anything like that. There's not really much difference between Lo Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. I don't think I need to save it for like an in um, for like a Crackling Drake. And uh, Militia Bugler is not doing a whole lot for us with them having the Raptor Hatchling right there. So. We'll just get the coil, get that thing out of here, and then go Phoenix, Phoenix. That's our that's our plan. Hey, Todd, I'm curious about your Gr Grixis Legends deck. I couldn't see it in action. What do you think about it? Um, I actually like the deck quite a bit. We had more success the first time we played it than the second time. Um, but it was it's actually pretty good. Yagmas File Offering is just is a is a really great card, and and it it really resembles like a Grixis Dragons deck. You've seen the Grixis Dragons decks kind of around. It really resembles that. But if you'd like to watch the Grixis Legends, you can check it out on my brand new YouTube channel, which I've had up for five days now. Had the uh, the video, the vods from the last five days. So you can find Grixis Dragons on there. So YouTube.com/c for channel slash Todd Stevens MTG, and hit the follow button on the YouTube channel there. Also, need a whole lot more followers and channel views to get partnered there so cool and thanks wonder melodies yeah yeah so you can find some of the vids from the last five days there got got all those up there and so that's a good place to find and um i i'm recording on different audio tracks so you know i'm not recording the music for youtube of course because you can't have uh, music on there. So if you usually kind of watch the the VODs here on Twitch, you can watch them unmuted on there because a lot of the VODs on Twitch are, are muted. And they're unmuted there on YouTube. And it's, you can find the exact deck you want to want to watch. Radical Guru, welcome. All right, opponent's getting in there. So they want their 3-3. Three, three, and I don't think I just give them a 3-3. Three, three. I don't think that's worth it. They're going to get a 3-3 eventually with that Raptor Hatchling, but I don't think it needs to be this turn. Ah, they got the Charter Course. Yeah, yeah, because I put up four each day since uh, since five days ago, so... I think five days ago, six days ago? The 28th was the first day I did it. And yeah, I've been playing four decks a day, so... Uh, a Johnny doesn't get to do a whole lot for me. So I guess we're going to Bugler and hopefully hit a 2-drop to play the 2-drop. That's a 2-drop. 
And I keep Phoenix back on D. You can't find a stream with music I like? Oh, I'm sorry, Josh. Well, you could you know, also you know watch the videos on YouTube without the music, too. Okay. Hopefully opponent... Oh, they're scrying to the top. So say, hopefully they don't find something for this phoenix. Ah, Raptor Hatchling. Raptor Hatchling was, like, the card that beat us the other time we lost to Drake's. It was really good against us. Alright, so they can have Dive Down plus Shock to kill my phoenix, but... I mean... I'm not gonna sit here and not block. So... Nice. Also, I think I should have blocked the Raptor actually in there. Whoa! Fiery Cannonade? Whoa, our opponent kind of messed that up. I'm not going to pay for life for Vanguard. Sorry, Vanguard, you're, you're gone. They didn't let the Phoenix token resolve. Oh, no. Yeah. They said, oops. Sorry, buddy. Got to wait for that token. Hey, Todd, can I get that historic deck list you had? Yeah, Mike, uh, I've, I've had a few different historic decks. Here. It's somewhere in here. So, depending on which one you want. Um. Wait, oh, they had a shock also. Tilt. Let's make this bugler at 3 4. Fight. Look how far you have come. Three, four is bigger than 3 3. Built. Man. And a crackling drake? <laughs> Dude, it's going to be hard to win even without the crackling drake. Yeah, Dredge is not very good in standard. Our opponent's just attacking me. Rude. Uh, looks like we're dead. Um, I mean, Bugler can find direfully Daredevil, but I don't have the mana to play Daredevil plus Lava Coil, so looks like we're just kind of dead. Fiery Cannonade, huh? Maybe I should get the Shivan Fires for just even more answers to Drake's. And just cut war bosses. I guess so. Yeah, we did not draw Ixalan's Binding. No, I don't really want any Lyra's in the sideboard. I mean, Lyra's good against aggro, of course. Lyra... Just gets Beacon Bolted. Bacon Bolt. I can eat him up. So is Verity Circle the last? Yeah, it looks like Verity Circle is the last preview of the day. I, I don't think we're really going to get any new spoilers over the weekend. I expect I expect us to get some of like the best ones back on Monday. Like I'm thinking Mondays when Domri is going to come out and another couple mythics as well. Gross. Good. Vanguard's perfect. Love that on turn two. And the opponent's down to six cards. Gonna keep binding. 
But I'm all I'm already kind of regretting it. I also just I want a binding that stupid raptor. Raptor hatchling is real good against a Danto Vanguard. Yeah, weak to Kevin Bacon Bolt. <laughs> yeah, but binding's certainly one of our better cards. I don't really want to get rid of it. No, Ixalan's not rotating when the next set comes. The there's no rotation. There's no rotation until next fall. Rotation only happens once a year, every fall. So not a not a rotation for a while. Ooh, baby. Not only did our opponent not have a Raptor Hatchling, we have another Adanto Vanguard. And we're we are off to the races. Are they doing starter decks for MTG Arena? There's like five decks you get, like five introductory, or 15, 15 introductory decks you get when you, you get five when you open your account and then you earn another 10 throughout, throughout daily quests, throughout your first six days. Um, I think those are like kind of what they have for starter decks. Alright, no more crackling drakes for you, opponent. They're saying good games, so I'll say good game back. And yeah. Other Adanto Vanguard's gonna go ahead and get this done. Do you think Quench is too strong? No. Nope, I think it's a I think it's the right power level. I like it more than Mana Leak. Um, but no, I don't think it's just too strong. I like it quite a bit. And speaking of things I like quite a bit, I like five ones, which is exactly what we did here. Get our 2100 gold, get that five win dream. Dash Assault, hey, good evening. I don't... I don't really know what that's referring to, Dash Assault. But here we go. We got 2,100 gold for our 100 or 1,000 entry fee, and we got three rares. We got a Benelish Marshal, Dragon's Horde. Ah, that's a card I just used wild cards on recently for the Grixis Dragons deck. And Deep Root Champion. I don't think I had four Deep Root Champions, so that's a new one. I had four Marshals and Hordes. No. No, this is where the cam's been for the last couple months. Yeah, Reed just passed over the million view mark. So, yeah, absolutely. Will Quench become a standard staple like negate, spell, pierce, set, and scatter? Yeah, it'll be like that that level. Yep. Yep, we'll certainly see a decent amount of standard play. But it's not, like, busted or anything like that. Yep. All right. So, Boros Bugler... Honestly, a pretty good deck. Yet again, this is only the second time I've played this deck, and we've gotten five wins with it both times. Pretty good deck. The Takali Honor Guards in the sideboard seem a little weird when you have Daredevils, Buglers, and CGN Commanders, but they just, you know, won us the games against the Black Green twice, so, you know, like, they're doing their thing. Um, I think Shivan Fires, like, my least favorite card in the sideboard. That could potentially be something better. Maybe, maybe even Conclave Tribunal, if you want another card against Drake's. I think I'd rather have Conclave Tribunal than Shiv and Fire um, there. So honest, honestly, that could maybe be different there. I think I'm going to change that if we play this deck again. Conclave Tribunal. I like Tribunal. Yeah. Do you think Grixis Legends had a problem yesterday or just a bad run? I think just a bad run. I don't think it really had a problem yesterday. Um, do you have a hint to farm gold in constructed events? I mean, it's just, it's just you know, winning your matches, I guess. It's, it's easier and faster to win games in the best of one, I believe, than in the best of three. Um, if you want to like win more gold quicker, I think the best of threes take a while. Like this league. You know, we've been playing this deck for 
close to two hours. And so we got like 1,100 gold for like two hours. So it takes a while. So yeah, I think that's the change. That's like one small change I'd make for the next time I play this. Um, but if you're watching the video on YouTube, hope you hit the subscribe button for the channel and check out some of the other videos. And remember, you can always find me live from 3 to 10 Eastern on twitch.tv slash TodStevensMTG. But thanks for watching. That'll be it for Boros Bugler.